Thank you for tuning in to the Philip Scott Show. My name is Danielle DeVita and I am a proud contributor. So I have a video where a lady said that she will not date broke men. I'm going to go ahead and roll that clip. This is how you avoid dating broke boys. Don't date broke boys. They just stress you out. Number one, when I meet a guy and he wants to ask me out on a date, I say, okay, where are you from? What do you do? I am a aerospace engineer. I go straight to Google, type in aerospace engineer salary. 200000 a year? Great. That's in my income range for guys that I date. Now, if he comes and says that he works at McDonald's, no shade. You just don't make enough to date me. And that's okay. There's a girl out there for you. It's just not me. Number three check his living situation does he have his own place or does he still live with his mom in his mom's basement very important another thing does he have an actual bed you know elevated off the floor so you're not breathing dust does he have more than one pillow does he have blankets or do you walk into his room and he has one mattress laying on the floor with one stained pillow ew gross if you can't afford to pay your own rent how can you afford to pay my rent no. Number three, if he wants you to call your own Uber to the date to see him, absolute automatic no. He's a broke boy, not doing it. That is when I tell him, I prefer it if you sent my Uber to my place or you pick me up yourself because I'm a lady. I deserve to be treated like a princess and I'm not accepting anything lower, period. Number four, if we're out to dinner and he's arguing with the waiter about a dollar upcharge on his extra cheese or whatever he got on his food, and that extra dollar just hurt his pocket so much, broke boy, leave him alone. Ain't gonna do it for you. I'm manifesting only wealthy men for my girlies who are watching this, so stay tuned for more. Bye! You know, this clip is so funny to me because at first I... I'm assuming it's a joke. You guys can tell me, is this, you know, some type of joke um, that this person did on TikTok or is this um, real? If it is, I, you know, I, I think that it's funny because so many people have all these lists of requirements, but what they fail to realize is the people that they say they want. And in, in this video, she said, you know, $200,000 as far as this guy, the guy's salary that she wants to be with. There are certain requirements to be with a man who makes a certain kind of money. And besides attraction level, um, there's mindset, right? And there is a level of femininity that you need to have. And there is a certain level of um, accountability that you need to have. A lot of women believe that their looks is all that it that it takes to be with this type of guy and they forego mindset, forego femininity. Um, they forego, you know, all the things that are required to be with the man that they say they want. You know, we as women have high standards, but it's almost as if we think men have low standards. And I, I say this because a lot of people are going to immediately go to her attraction level, but her mindset is flawed as women who are, what most people would say, oh, there are eight, nine, or 10. The reason why the, the mindset is flawed is because so many times we're looking at men as a wallet. We're looking at him for the money that he has, and we fail to realize that we should be looking for a man who is noble, right? He is loving and respectful, you know, uh, to be respected, right? He is one to be respected. And therefore we respect this person. A lot of times we're just looking at the money. We're not looking at the type of man that he is, the character that he has. And therefore we ignore our bad characters. We ignore our flaws and those things because we think all that matters is his money, my looks. And we, we forget the standards. We forget the femininity that's needed. We forget the mindset that's needed. How many times are women getting with men who has money and then they say, oh, well, you know, it doesn't matter what, how much money they have or their high value because they're, they, you know, treat women this way or they do this and not, they do that. They're, they're not all what they cracked up to be because men should not be looked at as their money. You want a man who can lead. He's loving and all his, you know, and all the things that he says and does. So it's not about how much he earns, but it's about what kind of man, what kind of character does he have? There should be more to a man than his wallet. And there should be more to you than your beauty. 
right? So we, we ignore, um, we, we miss out on good men. And we look at celebrity life. We look at this life that other people have and we say we want that. So we try to go out and get a man who's already on that level when we fail to realize that the women that are with those men were with them from the beginning. When that man had nothing because she saw him for who he was, right? So we want to look for men who are, yes, high valued, but high earning does not necessarily equal high value. This is a man who's valuable to all the people that are around him. But so many times we're just looking at his income and saying, yes, no, swipe left, swipe right. But you're going to get kicked to the curve if all you're looking at is materialistic things. Because at some point you're going to get older. At some point, beauty is going to fade. And at some point, men are going to just get to the point where they either are just tired of Western women altogether for their mindset, for their entitlement, for their um, you know, lack of respect. And we and we're wondering why you know the dating pool is is slim, it's narrow, it's not with a lot of qualified people. We think that men have to have this certain qualifications when we fail to meet those qualifications. So I'm saying today, make sure that you're not just looking at a man for his money, but look at the kind of character he has. Look at the whole picture, not just one thing. And Besides the fact that this woman is not even in the same caliber of what these men are looking for, right? Besides that, people who are watching this video and co-signing it, they're going to be right along there with her 10 years from now, still saying what they don't want and saying that it's the man, it's the man's fault and that they're good women. All right. Well, that is all I have for you. Thanks for tuning in to the Philip Scott Show. Again, I'm Danielle DeVita. To find more about my content, you can go to YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and you can check me out there. Take care.